Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this time we are playing the brand new uh, Marvel Champions LCG campaign expansion, The Mad Titan's Shadow. And uh, I decided to make a series where I play uh, the new uh, starter decks that come in this expansion. And I will be playing uh, standalone scenarios through all of the uh, available new scenarios. So in this video we are starting off with so uh, Spectrum, Monica Rambeau against Ebony Moore. So this is the first scenario of this uh, campaign box. So let's get started. Okay, well, I have already reshuffled the decks, but we need to still do one step of the uh, setup. So when revealed the act um, main scheme one B says when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell environment is discarded and puts it into play in their uh, play area. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So um, Ebony Mo is a villain that has a forced interrupt. When Ebony Mo activates against you, remove an invocation counter from a, from each spell card in your play area. So, uh, that represents that uh, he's a powerful mage that uh, casts spells, and uh, the spell we got was the first one, so Pacification, Search. So if I uh, draw this from uh, uh, as an encounter card, it has Search, but we just put it into play. So enters play with three invocation counters on it. Pause response after the last invocation counter is removed from pacification, discard it, exhaust its upgrade you control, you are stunned. So it slows us down quite a bit when it activates and it comes into play with three counters. I will just shuffle the deck because we got that from the first card, so that is all the setup we can do. Eponimo has 14 health, uh, we have 5 health uh, uh, plus 6, so 11 health. And uh, Monica Rambo or Spectrum is an uh, interesting uh, hero. I played one practice game with it. So, um, Spectrum, when on this side, will get one of these uh, energy forms into play. And um, in the campaign booklet, it has a FAQ where it says that energy form is same as hero form or alter ego form. So if I change energy forms, it counts for, for example, Moxies, which are in the deck. Uh, so be mindful of that when you're playing uh, with uh, Spectrum for the first time. So we have Gamma, uh, which is a permanent energy form. Spectrum gets plus to attack hero response after you change to this energy form, deal one damage to an enemy. Then we have Pulsar, energy form permanent. Spectrum gets uh, plus two defense. Hero response after you change to this hero form, heal one damage from Spectrum. And lastly, we have Photon, which is energy form permanent. Spectrum gets plus two Tward. Hero response after you change to this energy form, remove one threat from a scheme. So these start uh, phase down and uh, uh, power down, forced response after you change to this form, turn all of your energy form upgrades phase down. So this says that we might be able to somehow get more than one in play, but um, we'll see how that goes. So I think that's mostly everything I want to talk about before we start. Uh, the decks are shuffled, so we'll just draw our open hand. And uh, Monik uh, or Spectrum comes with a pre-built leadership deck with a bunch of allies and cards that utilize allies. So we try to get some allies into play. Uh, for we immediately get played, which is a cheap one to play, but you have to uh, discard physical resources from hand to keep him in play. But I think we have a decent starting hand. So we have Moxie, which we can use immediately when we go to hero form. Uh, we can play. Uh, played by uh, maybe using ready to rumble for example mm. 
We don't have enough for the Gamma Blasts, which is a shame. I think I'm uh, mulliganing the energy duplication blue marble. So we're hoping to see some double icons, maybe. Well, we didn't get any. Oh well. I think we can uh, start the game with these, so we try to burn down Eponimo as fast as possible, because... Uh, I think because uh, Eponimo has quite low health, so that could be a good idea. So first thing we'll do is play Blade, and I'll use Ready to Rumble for that. We'll flip, and... Uh, after you change to this form, choose a face down energy form upgrade, flip that card face up to change to that energy form. And uh, I think we are uh, starting with uh, aggression, so I'll choose the gamma. So I'm just keeping these in a pile. They should be like this, but to save space, I'll just keep them like the one that is in use is on the top. So we get played. And uh, actually, I think I could save Blade for later, so I'm not using Blade to attack yet. And when we turn to Gamma, we deal one damage to something, so we deal it there. I think I'm using the Gamma Blast, Moxie, and uh, actually, uh, let's not do that. So we'll change to uh, Photon. So. Uh, we can remove one threat from a scheme. And uh, now that uh, we have played played, we can play Gamma Blast. I'm using all of these, not using the Moxie this time. So Gamma Blast reads... Mm, hero action attack change to Gamma energy form and deal 7 damage to an enemy. If you were already in a gamma energy form this attack gains overkill so we don't need the overkill so we're just uh, shuffle to gamma so now we can deal one damage here and then the gamma blast deals seven so we are burning down eponimo quite fast only six uh, health left on the first stage then uh, we'll attack with spectrum so uh, one two three so only three health left on the first Phase, but I, I think the next phase is a bit harder. So uh, I think that is our first hero turn. We'll ready up, draw back up to five. We get mass attack, uh, photon speed, mass attack again, mighty avenger, and speed of light. Then. Um, We'll go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme. Eponimo attacks, I will defend with Spectrum. So we remove one from here, then we get a boost card. So one plus three is four damage. We take four damage here. The encounter card for this turn is... Landing Craft. So, uh, comes into play with two threat per player, gives a boost like... Uh, Acceleration token to the main scheme. When defeated, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put the minion into play. Engage with the player who defeated this scheme. So I'll just put it over here. So I'm not sure if we want to remove that. Maybe we just want to burn down Eponimo as fast as possible. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. This turn we can do some silly stuff with the speed of light, so we could... Uh, we have the photon speed, so we could, uh, could uh, get rid of the landing craft, or... Uh, we could actually play the Mighty Avengers. So, 
If each of your characters has the Avenger trait, each ally you control gets plus one force and plus one attack, so Blade comes pretty good with that, so I think we're playing that. So I'm using the mass attack, we can't use it because we don't have three allies to exhaust, so we might as well use it. And uh, we have the mighty Avengers in play. And Blade will attack and I'll uh, discard Speed of Light, so we don't discard Blade yet. So Blade deals 3 damage to everyone more. And we'll advance to phase 2. So... Again, if uh, Eponimo activates against you, remove an invocation counter from each spell card in play. Uh, when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until uh, they discard a spell card and put that card into play in their play area. And uh, phase 2 has 18 health, so let's add those. Oh yeah, and... Um, let's not forget about um, discarding the card, so... We're looking for a spell, so here is one, and this go into discard because it didn't tell us to reshuffle the deck. So we get manipulation, search, and just play with two invocation counters on its force response after the last invocation counter is removed from manipulation, discard it, discard one card at random from the hand, you are confident. Okay. So both are in two. Then I think we'll just Use Spectrum to hit for 3 damage. And that is our turn. We ready up. 2, 3, 4, 5. We get Avengers Tower, Photo Speed, Energy Duplication, Ready to Rumble, and White Tiger. And the White Tiger is also an Avenger, so I think we are just uh, going full on playing allies as much as possible to utilize the mighty avengers because it gives all of the avenger allies plus one dwarf and plus one attack we'll go to the villain phase we add the two threat to the main scheme uh, eponym more attacks and i will just take it with spectrum these Plus one counter, so two plus one is three, that is totally fine. Then we get an encounter card, and it is the Black Order. Uh, while a Black Order minion is in play, threat cannot be removed from this side scheme, and it gives an additional card, so we really need to try and burn down Eponimo fast, or we'll we are get overrun. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the hero phase. We start the hero phase by playing the white tiger. So after you play white tiger from your hand, draw X cards to a maximum of 3 where X is equal to the villain stage number. If the villain has no stage number, draw one card. And we'll use uh, ready to rumble, photon speed and avengers tower to play white tiger. So we draw two cards because we're in phase 2. Then we don't have enough to play Captain America and unfortunately I think I'm saving this for next turn because if we hit with Blade now, a Blade goes away if we don't have a, a energy, a physical resource to discard from your hand. So we have to, I think we're getting rid of Captain America. Actually, Captain America is, uh, uh, we have three Avengers, so it's only three. But still, we don't have enough resources for that. Okay, well, um, I think I'm just, well, I'm hitting with White Tiger. 
for three. I'm hitting with blade for three. And I'm hitting and I'm discarding. Let's keep Captain America for next turn. I'm discarding the energy duplication. And we are hitting with Spectrum for three. So six health left. We just need to survive to next turn. Actually, uh, yeah, to upgrade it. We don't have any upgrades, so we don't have to um, mind that that much. Uh, we are stunned, so we can't hit, but these guys can finish off the one more and we can play possibly Captain America. I'm uh, discarding this at the end of my round, readying up, keeping Amer uh, Captain America in hand. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we get uh, Power Man, Speed of Light, Band Together, Pulsar Shield, and we have the Captain America. So looking pretty good. I think we can uh, safely just uh, throw either Blade or White Tiger in front of Eponymous attack for this turn. So let's go to the villain phase. We add two threats here. So we are at five, still okay. The only problem is we are getting two counter cards from that. So Eponymo attacks, uh, Blade will defend. So uh, we'll remove these. Um, let's resolve these. So uh, let's put Blade here so I don't forget. So manipulation, uh, discard one card that's random from your hand. You are confused. So um, this might change our plans, but uh, we have two allies in hand, so we might be able to okay and of course we discard uh, Captain America such a shame and uh, we are confused pacification uh, exhaust eats upgrade your control you are stunned exhausted doesn't do anything and I'm stunned that does okay and then We'll get a boost card, so 2 plus 0, so Blade is defeated. Then we get the encounter card, so uh, we get the blood to spare. When reveal each minion engaged with the player activates against that player. Each player who is not engaged with the minion searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a black order minion and puts it into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. So that is totally fine, we'll just put the second uh, card from the Black Order there. Look for a minion. This would discard a card from our hand. Not interested in that. This has guard. Not interested in that. I think those. Well, this is a quick strike, which is bad. No, thank you. Uh, Black Dwarf. They get overkill. Uh, we are trying to defeat the enemy next turn, so just double checking. We have a way to. Power Man. Okay, so Power Man can finish off Eponymo, so we'll just put the uh, uh, Black Dwarf into play. Uh, shuffle the encounter deck. So Black Dwarf doesn't stop us from attacking Eponymo, and uh, doesn't attack us right away, so that is totally fine. And the second one is <laughs> Gang Up. <laughs> well, of course. Uh, that changes everything. Oh well. Uh, I really don't have any good answers for this. So I'm defending because Spectrum can't attack. So uh, defending against Eponymo. And 2 plus uh, 0 will take 1 damage. Black Dwarf attacks, White Tiger has to defend, and is defeated. Well, that was close to... <laughs> uh, we can't defeat Eponymo next turn, but we'll see what we can do, so... We still have Pulse Shield band together, which is useless now. Speed of Light and Power Man. 
Oh well, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, actually, I uh, forgot that I could use the Pulsar Shield last turn when Eponimo attacked us. When uh, Spectrum Defense changed to Pulsar Energy from Form and Ready Spectrum, if you were already in Pulsar Energy Form, she can retaliate one until the end of the phase. So I'm actually playing this. And uh, this was before White Tiger was defeated, so I'm using Band Together to play it. So we change to uh, Photon, we heal one, and we ready. And we have plus three defense, so we don't take any damage, so I actually heal two. And uh, uh, if I played that correctly, I won't be discarding uh, White Tiger under the bus here, so I'm just taking this. So we take three from the Black Dwarf. Okay, uh, this gives us a chance to actually win the game this turn. So or or not, because we don't have any, enough. Uh, Play Powerman now. Oh well, uh, buys us one more turn, so I think we are playing the speed of light. I am changing to Gamma. So we deal one damage here. And uh, Draw a card, Gamma Blast, uh, this would be enough, but yeah, I'm uh, attacking to remove the stun, flipping to Alter Ego, and uh, just to stop this, uh, yeah, we can't remove threat from the, that side scheme, unfortunately. A landing crab doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, these go away because I'm going to. So I'm I'm saving White Tiger, not using her. I'll keep my hand. Uh, draw back up to six. Get Pulsar Shield, Moxie, Mighty Avengers, Pulsar Shield, Gamma Blast, and Power Man. And uh, we'll add two threats here, so this advances. So, when revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Each player discards card from the top of the encounter deck until the spell environment is discarded and puts in play the threat area. And if this stage is completed, we lose. So, we need to defeat Eponimo on the next turn. So, then Eponimo. Uh, yeah, we first do this, so we shuffle the encounter deck to the... Uh, discard to the encounter deck. Uh, we discard cards until we hit the spell. No spells. No spells. No spells. There's one spell. Okay, and these go into this card, we don't shuffle them in. So this gets three invocation counters. And uh, Ebony will scheme for two plus one. And this guy uh, schemes for one. Four of nine, we're still okay. And we get two encounter cards. So the first one is manipulation, searches. Oh dear, this is looking bad. Uh, we get fireball with searches. Let's put the tokens on them. So fireball has four. Uh, manipulation has two. Oh yeah, and uh, pacification lost one when Eponymore activated. Then 
uh, the search card. Uh, remove one invocation conjuring from each spell environment in play if you have no. Well, we have, so these all lose one. That's okay. And uh, the last card is place one threat on the main scheme for each spell environment in play. If you place no threat this way, this can search, but we add three, so we are at seven, so pretty close at uh, threatening out, but luckily not so. So that was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so the uh, last turn of the game, we have the uh, Gamma Blast in hand, so we can just blast Ebony more. So we'll flip to Hero, we'll get uh, Gamma, deal one damage here. And uh, so, four health remaining. Uh, White Tiger hits for four, Spectrum hits for three. Of three and three, so I think we'll do this uh, like a cool way. So I'm using three. Well, we use Moxie, then we use three cards. When we flip, we use Moxie, so we are plus one uh, attack, and we'll use Gamma Blast to kill off the Black Dwarf, and one damage overkills Ebony more. And Spectrum hits for 4 damage, defeating Ebony Maw. And that is the first scenario beaten with the pre-built Spectrum deck. And uh, I really like this uh, scenario. I, I've only played it twice. Uh, I did one practice game to uh, get the feel for the Spectrum Hero deck against this. And uh, I nearly won that, but this, this went a bit better. Uh, not immensely better, but still uh, we were in at the brink of losing, but we were able to turn it around with the Gamma Blast at the last moment. So, uh, really looking forward to the rest of the scenarios. So, next up I think I will try Adam Wallock against the uh, second scenario, which is Tower Defense, so look forward to that video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.